ready to go. Are you ready to go? Okay. You, was, you ready to I'm go? I'm ready to go. I was you, like, you, uh, you, you, you like, you, you like, damn, how much longer, huh? Yeah, because I'm trying to find a parking spot, so I'm like, all right. Oh, I, I, hear, park uh, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Where where you at though? I am in New Jersey, man. New Jersey. Oh, see, I don't fuck with the Northeast, man. I do not fuck with Say, the Northeast. I don't like it here either. They don't have no parking spots, and the truck stops that they have is packed. The rest areas are packed, so I'm like, fucking around the top. Sometimes you just gotta make you you just gotta make your own spot up there, don't you? I'm not going to do that as a woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's no. going on, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast interview for this evening. Yes, sir. Now I'm getting like super bright up in this bad boy right here. I got all these lights on and shit. Look at it. I'm looking all flush. Do I look flush? <laughs> Do I look flush to you? Lights, camera, action. I know, right? I know, right? It's just, okay. trying, it's just trying to keep cool up in this motherfucker. That's, that's the problem. But what's up, y'all? I got a nice female that's decided to stop in the building today. And she Woo-hoo. said, and, and, and she said that I am that woman. Yeah. We about to see we we about to see what she's all about. I got questions galore for her. Yo, I want you guys to put your I want you guys to put your hands together for my girl, KJ. What's going on? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, round of applause. <laughs> What's going on with you, Miss KJ? Man, I am trucking as we speak. As we speak. On my huh? headset. Mm-hmm. On my headset. Let's be clear. Now, now usually I have now usually I have you take your headset off because sometimes you sound in, you know they be sounding underwater. But you sounding kind of good. You sounding kind of good right about hey. now. Where where are you again? Yeah. You, where where are you again I up in the northeast? In, I'm in New I'm in New Jersey. Um, yeah. New the G A E. Man, Northeast, number number one, let me explain to you guys what the Northeast is all about. The Northeast, to me, sucks, all right? But to some other drivers, they'll, they'll take the Northeast, especially if they get paid. Now, I, now the company I would do pay me for going up in the Northeast, so we do get Northeast pay. What about, what about you? Do your company take care of you on the Northeast side? I believe we don't. I haven't looked through all the paperwork to see if I get paid just for going different locations. Mm-hmm. But if I'm not comfortable with going up northeast, I don't have to go. Oh, now, li- oh. being that the weather is pretty clear, mm-hmm. I'm here. Okay, okay. So if 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 you don't want to go up there, they they don't force you to. Is that anywhere oh. in the northeast? Because you know the northeast consists of PA and above. So is that anywhere in the yeah, northeast it, that you that you say that you it, don't want to mess it, with? If I don't want to go west, if I don't want to go south, I don't have to. They just tell me to decline the load and tell the reason why, and they'll give me out another load. Okay. So it's no biggie. As long as yeah, as long as I don't decline six loads that they gave me, like get your money, girl, get your money. <laughs> but they make me feel comfortable, so. Oh, okay. Are right, so wait, wait. Now you said that you able now are you a company driver or are you a lease driver? I am a company driver. Oh. Uh I don't want to partake in the lease program at this moment. Okay, okay. So company driver with a little bit of power on your own, okay? Now see, luckily for me, yeah. I'm I'm with a company that that you know, we do a lot of lo- uh, a lot of northeast loads and my fleet manager is good to me. So if he needs something to go up in the Northeast, i.e. outside of New York and the boroughs and the Bronx and all like that, then yeah, I'll, I'll take it up there. I, I went as far as, I went as far as Maine. I, I went all the way up to Maine and, uh, and dropped the load up there. Actually, it, while I was up there, there wasn't no parking space at all. The yeah, place where I went to, the place where I went to was 
enough for truck parking, but they pretty much kicked us off. And um, yeah. and the it was like a little, I say a little, what do you call it? Um, a little plaza down the street. So oh yeah, they have a lot of plazas. So I was able to I was able to park up in the plaza. Now what I did, let me now here's a tip. All right, I don't know if you guys if the okay. pla if if the plaza's big enough, if it's big enough, I park around the back. You know what I'm saying? I make it like I make it like I'm waiting for you know I'm waiting for the stores to open so that nobody won't come out there and bother me. Other than that, okay. Other than that, I I will park out in the front. I will okay. park out in the front, but I will park as far front so that I won't you know that I won't be in the way, but I will also be able to get out too because you know when them okay. when them small ass plaza parking lots get full. Yeah, it makes it hard oh, yeah. for us to get out, man. Oh All right. yeah. So, but you you had a you 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 heading to a truck stop though, right? Oh no, uh, that's the truck stop I just passed by our path. Um, <sighs> even the rest area that was nearby. So you, you I'm gonna be running out of time. <laughs> you I'm already knowing this. You couldn't you well, the rest areas you you couldn't make a spot. Mm -mm. You know, it couldn't, no. couldn't even and make if a spot. I can show you, if I if I can show you, you'll see. But other than that, I couldn't make a spot, Man. and I'm not gonna park on the side of the ramp. Like no, I hear you. My safety is first. I yeah. hear you. I <laughs> super duper hear you on that, man. So yeah, definitely stay safe though, for real, because your safety, you know, being a woman out here, and you in the you in my time zone, so it's what about eight nine going on nine o'clock over yes. there yes yeah so, and 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 it's dark like pitch black dark mm -hmm. yeah so oh, yeah, yeah you you be careful up there man especially up that way because it's a lot of it's a lot of crazy shit um it's a matter oh, as, everywhere you go uh not not just in the not just in the northeast not everywhere. not ev everywhere all right. Everywhere well, you go. <laughs> well, speaking speaking of everywhere, why don't you go ahead and let my listeners know who you are and where you came from? Well, uh, I am Keith Day, and I come from Houston, Texas. Oh, I wait, 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 stop. I'm, oh, Excuse me. Houston. Did I say anything wrong? No, no. Houston is my it, look. Houston is like my second home, and just about every okay. and just about everybody, well, all, just about every female that I have interviewed so far on my podcast has either lived in Houston or is from Houston. Damn it, man! That's oh, shout yeah. out, shout out to Texas. Period. As a matter of fact. I'm yes. on my way. I'm about to as soon as as soon as I get done with talking to KJ for the evening, about to go over to my yard, pick up my other load that's heading to Texas City, Texas. Oh, I thought that weather is gonna be good. I, I I think uh, ain't Texas City, Texas outside of Houston? Yes, it is. See, I'm coming through. All right, go ahead, finish. <laughs> go ahead, finish telling uh telling us what's up about you. Well, uh, but like you have to ask the question because basically I'm I'm a close book, so. Oh, okay, okay, that's <laughs> like, what's up. Well, yeah, I come from Houston, Texas. I'm okay. TJ. Uh, okay, okay. What else do you want to know, blackout man? <laughs> okay, well that's what's up. But that's what's up, man. Well, how? Well, coming into the game, uh, how long you been in the game? Going on two years next month on the nineteenth. Make two years. Okay. I've been in trucking. Okay. Did you get your license yes. through uh through through a school or through a company? Yes, I had went to Stevens Transport. I started out with them, and I am currently at another company. So I had went to Stevens Transport and got my CDL with them. Mm -hmm. When I was a trainer, like everybody else do, when they go to the training school, and I jumped off the porch and got with a better company. Did you stay? Did you stay with Stevens throughout the throughout the to fulfill your obligations with him, or you 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 stepped I out? I stayed with Stevens for eleven months. 
I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna say ten months. I'm pushing it with the eleven months. I'm gonna say ten months because every day was a struggle at Stevens. I just, I couldn't do it. I said no. Every day I said no, but I said I could leave because I had less of experience and no other company was gonna take me without having to go out with a trainer. So, mm-hmm. buckle down. Do what you gotta do. Now, and unfortunately, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> now, what about now? What about your obligation? They are. I mean, you fulfill damn near ten months. So, did they? Did they still came after you, or uh, or no? You know what? This is the thing with Stevens. Like when you sign the contract, I guess you have to pay sixty five hundred dollars for the training course. Um, with that. They tried to come at me, and they tried to make it seem as if I had owed them seventy five hundred. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, I was with y'all for ten years. I'm less of a month, guys, of a year, and you're telling me I still have to pay sixty five hundred dollars? No. So they had credit bureaus calling me and you know harassing me, saying that it's going to be on your credit report. Right. No, it was it's never on, it was never on my credit report. I don't see it on my credit report. I didn't have to pay the money back, which I wasn't because I felt like I got pretty bad. Um, they lowballed me, and so I, I don't want to say I did a tip for tat type of thing, but I felt like if you want to lowball me, I'm not going to pay six hundred fifty dollars. I hear you. So what was so what was the experience there? Uh, let's let's start with the let's start with the training aspect because. You, you oh, went oh when you went through well not not the training let's let's break it down let's take it even further Wait. let's let's take it back a little okay. bit further this during the okay. school during the schooling how many of you guys mm-hmm. was in the class and how many of you guys oh. made it after I mean made it to your CDL so in our class I believe it was I want to say twelve people I want to say roughly twelve two girls I knew, me and another woman, and the rest of them were guys. Okay, and how, how I many say how, how many all together? Mm, about half of that, I, uh, 12. It was 12 of us. Oh, it was 12? And I want to say only, yes, in our class. Because they had classes coming in, I believe, every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So it was like, once we went through one phase of a week, we see another class coming in. So oh, okay. it wasn't like a 30 people in one class. Okay. So it was, I believe, 12 of us, and I would want to say around eight of us could have made it if some people were stuck with the program. Some people pee was dirty. Some people got caught doing things that they weren't supposed to do. Uh, some people had health problems. So, yeah, it was a shorthand of us that made it. All right, so let's start. With, let, let's start with the let, let's start with the with, with, with the with the dirty pee. Let, let me tell you guys something. <laughs> if you're going to go to a trucking school or go if you already have your CDLs and you're going to orientation, please, by all means, have your shit cleaned. Okay? Yes. Have it cleaned. Yes. I'm, I I. I cannot stress how many how many guys was in my orientation that got bounced out of there because of their shit was dirty. If look, yeah. smoke your weed after. Okay, let me say it again. Smoke your weed after yeah. you uh you come on. And even and even and even then don't even don't even smoke it yeah. at all because they they can they, I say one thing? Go ahead, go ahead. About about that. So if anyone is trying to apply with Stevens Transport, I don't know if they changed anything since I've been there. What they do is they'll do the first P test. Mm-hmm. Okay, you, you you do that to make sure you can get into the training course. You pass that. Mm-hmm. Then when you pass your CDL test, the driving test, the handwritten test. They take you back as soon as you finish dropping that 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 dropping the truck. Mm-hmm. They will take you back. Okay. And give you another piece of what? Right on spot. So but they so, the, yes, so they do is. two for the price of one, huh? Two for the price of one. Wow. Okay. So now, you, so so. Yes, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. 
because you're basically stand on one of their hotel properties and you have free leisure to do whatever you want to do. And I say I was in training for about three weeks on the yard. We call it the yard. So you're on the hill on tra- in training, you mm-hmm. know, practicing mm-hmm. your maneuvers and stuff like that. And you go home to the hotel <laughs> and you can do whatever you want to do. So they want to make sure you come back clean. And some of them, they was outside smoking. Drinking a drink, barbecue, what? having fun, and I'm like, at this, this is yes. at this is at the hotel. At the hotel, and you know how people talk; they get around. Everybody was like, "They gonna give y'all a little piece," and I'm just looking at everybody like, "Up." Oh. I'm gonna be clean. Well, I'm I'm sure you stay you you stay far away from there too because you know the 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 aroma and the and the, and and when it get on your clothes, sometimes you just can't beat that you know beat beat that uh, smell away. So you, oh, yeah. you oh okay good 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 oh, so yeah. so you say about eight of you say about eight of you guys uh, made it through. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, with the exception of you, you know, to your knowledge, well, let's let's get to the training part. Let's get to the training part. So okay. you you with a you with a male or a female trainer? I was with both. Oh, you was with my first trainer. Yes, my first trainer that I had, she was a female, and um, you guys don't know her name, and you probably do. But I had to sign a cross gender form because she was a trans. She, she was transitioning into a male. Oh, okay, okay. So well, you don't have to. You, you don't have to tell. You you don't have to say. <laughs> you don't have to say her name. But so you, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So, but, so she, so, <laughs> so she was, that, so she was a she, at 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 mm-hmm. one point, but she was transitioning yeah. into a male. Okay, so did so, <laughs> d- how hmm how yeah. how how did it work? Yeah, yeah. How how did that work? <laughs> it didn't work. Not with key. Um, ah, this is the thing with me. I'm very picky, and I don't say much to people, so I have to open up to you by observing. So the whole time we were on the truck, I didn't learn anything. Like, she basically let me do what I wanted to do. Like, I was basically driving for her. So a week passed, and I just got fed up. So I'm like, what am I going to learn? Like, am I going to learn the well come? Are you going to teach me anything? And I didn't learn anything. So, mm-hmm. like, the second week I was on her truck, she had asked me when I was already about to get off the truck, Hey, do you want to go over the mountains? I looked at her and I said, no. I don't want to go over no mountains. Not with you. Like, you haven't even trained me to do anything. You haven't led me back. This is my second week on a truck with her. And I, of course, they're not going to teach you how to back every day in training. So I'm like, I'm not even learning how to back. And you want me to go over a mountain? Let me get past that show first so I can feel comfortable going over a mountain. So I just got fed up. I said, you know what? Enough is enough. And... She was kind of acting like she was a man, you know. She was. She I mean, me she was transitioning like, into a man, though, right? I mean, she, yes, you know. Yes, but it, it, it's a level of respect now. It's a level of respect. <laughs> she called me out my name because I guess she thought we was cool like that. She was like, "Oh, he is all right." I'm like, "Oh no, I got to get up off the truck." Oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> like that's not how you're supposed to train anyone. So. so so that that so that how how was it how was it when you when you said that you wanted to get up off the truck did did she bring you back to the terminal or oh it was so much tension in that truck like she asked me that I want to finish driving like that I want to drive back to the terminal I said I don't want to do nothing but stay on the top bus and I need you to take my little test we have to take we had to take tests all along while we were on the truck so I was like let me do my test then and just Please drive me back to the terminal. I didn't want to do nothing after that. Like, no, you wasted my time, basically. Wait, so you, so you froze out. You, you hold up now. Oh, okay. I didn't freeze out. I'm. I just feel like if I'm not getting the necessary training that I need to further my education in trucking, what is what? What else? Do I need to do? What's I the point? Like, I don't even want to drive because that's all I've been doing is driving. 
So okay, but it was only two days. But but <laughs> oh, okay. So but what I was saying, I mean, not freeze out like that. But I was saying, you just you just said bump it. I'm not driving at all because I just felt like yeah. I I wasn't getting trained properly. And it, what was the what yeah. was the point of of even trying to drive? And I'm not learning anything. Yeah, I just I just said forget it. Just give me another trainer. Okay, so I I guess she got you back. Well, he well, she, well at the time I guess yeah, she was a she. Days. I guess at the time she was a she. So we we don't know <laughs> what she is now. Maybe maybe a he now. I guess, but I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, did you when you when you got on the truck with her? Or when you when you met her, did she kind of like informed you in the beginning that she was like uh, that she was transitioning, or you pretty much I, figured that out when I, you saw her? No, no, I had to sign the cross gender form, and when I signed it, I'm like, okay, I get, I guess I'm getting a male trainer, right? Right, because that's what females have to do. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting a male trainer, and when they gave me her number, they was like, okay, her name is. Hello. Okay. And I asked the people, I asked the recruiter, I said, well, why do I have to find this form? And they was like, we'll let her explain it. I was like, uh, what? Wait, 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 wait. They, wait, <laughs> they had, they had a form for, just for her? They, no, this is the thing. If, I, okay, I, let me see how I can put it. Mm -hmm. If that person decides they want to be a male, or if a uh, male wants to be a woman, they basically have to say that that's what they are. They don't want to discriminate. Right. The company didn't want to discriminate. So right. She said she's against the men. So that's why I had to sign the form. If you buy with a male trainer, you have to sign a cross-gender form to say, hey, if I feel uncomfortable or if this person is trying to come on sexually, I can, you know, scream help, basically. That's okay. why we have to sign the form. Okay, so it's basically a waiver for the company to protect themselves pretty much and yourself oh and yourself oh, okay so yes. uh well we just gonna say <gasps> we we just gonna say uh glenn at yeah ash I king really just said the name, didn't I? nah no you I, didn't I, I did that no, you didn't. <laughs> oh my god. No, you didn't. We 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 can we can probably bleep that out in post. But anyway. Okay. Um yeah. uh let's let's see. Uh Betty. Yeah. Betty. That that that'll work. Okay, so there we go. So Betty was transitioning into a bob. So when you saw Betty, uh -huh. when you saw Betty, did you pretty much mm -hmm. figure that Betty was, I mean, Betty was Betty or was Betty well, was Bob? I knew Betty was Betty because of her female physique. Um, she had the same thing that I had, but she explained to me that she had a different part. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh -huh. all right, so. So, Betty was Betty, but Betty was part of Bob, too. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. Man, it still okay. They had it both. Woo. They had both of them. I mean, that's how. <laughs> now you know what? As I gotta, I, guys, I gotta ask you this question and and leave it in the comments below. And this is this is for the guys, not the females, because the females could probably, when you know, females, you know. It's more common with females. You see what I'm saying? Of of a female transitioning into a guy or, you know, vice versa. But mm -hmm. guys, how do you how do you guys will feel if there was a female trainer transitioning into a guy that was training a guy? Hmm. That's a good question. Mm hmm. Or, or you should say a guy or, trying or, to transition into, into a, a fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Training, Whoa. training a guy. 
Okay. Now, yeah, like how? How, yeah. how would how would that work? You, I'm, I'm scratching my eye, man. How would that work with a straight guy getting trained by a a guy that's transitioning? Mm. 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 We shall see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. This, it's coming because you know trucking, trucking is open now. It, it's trucking ain't like the way of old no more. You know what I'm saying? Because you know we got, yeah. you know we 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 got we we got uh, you know we we got cut we got same sex couples, uh, doing the damn thing now. Now, I like me. I I like Nick and Carla. All right, I like them. I like mm-hmm. the way I like the way Nick does her editing. I I, I like yes. their channel. Period. You know what I'm saying? And I don't positive see people. exactly their positive vibes and everything like that. Now I don't see them. I don't see them for you know for what they are. I see them that they're pop. They're you might as well call them a power couple. All right, because Nick yeah. got. Yeah. Nick Nick got a lot of shit in the background that she do, not not just only trucking. So I call them a power Very couple. Creative. But yet yeah. we yeah. have now we now there's I only seen two. Uh Nick and Carla and it's an it's a black chick and a white chick. All right. I seen I seen those those two so far. I have yet to see a guy. <laughs> I oh, have I'm pretty sure they're out there. Yeah, they're out there. They are out there, but I have yet to see it. So, yeah, it's trucking. Are you saying you have you haven't seen it at a truck stop? Because I have. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You see, wait. At a no, I haven't seen. I've seen it I haven't. I haven't. As a full woman. I haven't seen it at a truck stop. I haven't seen it at a truck oh, stop, I have. and I haven't seen it at uh, I haven't seen it on video. I'm I'm talking about man. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm talking about man on man. I mean, man, you know, man, oh. man, couple. I'm not talking about oh, you know. I'm not talking about a guy. Well, I mean, I've seen it. I've seen plenty of guys dressed as women. I haven't seen it at a truck stop yet. Not yet. I've seen it on. I've seen it on the, in the pictures in the groups and all like that. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it that way. But I haven't yeah. seen it myself personally. But I'm talking, I'm talking about male male couples in trucking. I haven't seen that yet. Hmm. Me either. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet, man. Woo! All right. So the second the the second trainer, how how did that work out? Uh, it worked out very well. He was a guy, and he respected my face. I respected his face, and I actually learned. Okay. I didn't just drive. I did maneuvers. Basically, the third day I got on his truck, I did maneuvers. Uh, <laughs> he was like, I'm not going to say nothing. I just want to see how far you can get into backing. And if I see you messing up, then I'll say something. But me, I'm so level-headed and strong-headed. I was like, don't say nothing. Okay. I want to get out. I want to look. I don't want you to say nothing. <laughs> okay, that's but the type of training that you want. With him. Yeah. You like, train. Let me, let me. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I was about to say you trained in the winter time or you trained in the summertime. <sighs> summer going into the winter. Oh, summer going into the winter. Okay, that's that's still good. Yes. That's still good. So I already knew the gist of uh, driving in the wintertime. Like, I wasn't scared to drive in the wintertime because I got out on my own in the wintertime. Okay. So I felt like that was a plus for me. Okay. That, that should have, that, that is a plus because if you, you know, yeah. a lot of, a lot of drivers train in the summertime and they just get that summertime driving and then they get like, get like messed up when they hit that wintertime driving, like. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Of course, you don't know what to do because you never drove oh, yeah. in the wintertime. So, mm-hmm. all right. So, Uh-oh. Stevens Transport. You you rocked out with them. You did ten months with them. You decided, you decided they they effed you over and all like that. And you decided to get up and get up and get out. What's uh you 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 want to say the company you're with now or 
or? Uh, I don't want to. Some oh, okay. people know that follow me on my um, on my social media accounts. They they know what company I work for. Some people know. Oh, okay. And some people still ask, so I still want to keep it. Close right. to the vet, so I got you. I got you. So the current yeah. comp, the current company that you that you working with, is that the company you went to after Stevens, or the, or was there? Yes. No, oh, okay, so so after yeah. Stevens, <laughs> it's been this company for a year. Yeah, and Next this month will be a year. And this company has been treating you well. Oh, I can't complain. I have no complaints. Well, that's that's. I what, haven't had nothing wrong with dispatch. <laughs> Uh, I haven't had loads being delayed as far as me having to sit and wait for loads, per se. Um, I get loads that back. I get the mouths that I need. And people might say, oh, she's just gassing her company up, but I'm not. If I can stay with this company for a year, that means something good to me. Okay, that's that's what's <laughs> up. How many how many years yeah. how, how many years of experience that this particular company needs for somebody to come over and work uh, drive for them? Oh, they would like for you to have at least a year. If you don't have a year of experience, they will get you out with a trainer. And since I didn't have a full year with um, Stevens, I had to go out with a trainer for only two weeks. Because so oh. the trainer that I had went with, he was like, oh, she don't need no help. Like, she got this, but I have still had to go out with him. Right, right, right. All right, so. Yeah. With this, uh, with this, with this company, and you've been there for a year, so you get full benefits and everything like that with this company. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, as long indeed. as long as they, as long as they, uh, <laughs> as long as they take care of you. What do you, what do you, um, with the company that you would now, and you've been there for a year. What's what's some tips you can mm-hmm. you can you can give on being success, successful with that company? With this company? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going to say with any company. Or with any goes. company. If you're yeah. Just, yeah, if you're just starting out, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm not talking to the OGs of trucking because they got it already. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but the people that are starting out and trying to do trucking, you are having bad things that are going on with the company that you're with. Stick out for a year. Stick it out for a year so you can have that experience. You don't have to go out with another trainer. Don't be lazy. You cannot be lazy with a company that's going to take care of you because they're going to show you love. So you basically have to put in work. All right, you kind of um, now now you um, now you're breaking up a little bit. You you parked yet or are you still driving? Oh, I'm still driving. I'm going to run this clock out. Is oh, okay. it bad? Nah, it, it was just breaking just a little, just a little. But you're good. You're good. Oh. Go ahead and continue. Okay. Um. And the, another thing that I want to say is be time productive. Like, make sure you're on time to every load that you have. Make sure you calculate your time-wise as far as your 30-minute break, where you're going to stop. Trip planning is a plus. You have to trip plan. Weather conditions. You have to know what you're getting into. Um, what else can I say? Uh, don't be a quitter. Like, it's going to be hard out here, but do not be a quitter. And try to take every load that comes your way, even if you don't want to drive up north like I don't like to, but I'm up here. <laughs> okay. Um, Do what you got to do. Like, this is a part of trucking. And another thing I want to say, mm-hmm. if trucking is something that you want to do and you desire to truck, do it. If you're hesitant about doing it, don't do it. Because it's not for the Okay, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. What's some of the what's some of the people um what are some of the people that influenced you to get into trucking? Oh wow. Um I wanna say I don't have any influencers due to the fact that I like to do my own thing and can't nobody tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but I have family members that drive trucks. Um, two of them are retired, and I have another family member that drive a truck at this time. He's an operator. They would tell me how good it was. They would show me how good it was, but I still didn't want a truck. I was like, no. And this is the thing with me. I never had a passion for trucking. Like I didn't even want to get in a truck and drive trucks. So that's a little fun fact about me. 
it wasn't a dream that I just woke up and was like, I'm just going to be this great trucker. No. <laughs> okay. So when I got out here, I was like, okay, I like this. Because I don't have anyone standing over me telling me what to do. Mm-hmm. Coming in at a certain time, the mm-hmm. nine to five job. Mm-hmm. I didn't have none of that when I came to Justin. Trucking gives you the freedom so, to do what you to do whatever you want to do. Out yes, here. yes, yes. It, it's a, it's a career if you know how to navigate it correctly. Um, I really I didn't have any influencers. Like, wasn't nobody wasn't in my ear telling me, "Hey, you should go do this. You should go trust." Me. It was. Why won't you continue to stay in the medical field? Like, you're getting good money. Stay in the medical field. No, I'm, I don't want to retire just coming in and work doing the same thing over and over. So I think that's what influenced me. I wanted something different. Okay, okay. So so the medical field, that's, that's what you was in before you got into trucking? Yes. I had started out as a CMA, a certified medical assistant. I had went for a year to get my LVN. I did that for about, I'll say six months. And I just, I didn't want to do it anymore. And when I had my daughter, I didn't have to work. So I hung that up. <laughs> and, you know, I had some bad turns. My child father being taken away from me, you know, doing federal jail time. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I had to buckle down. My license was expired, and I said, I don't want to go back to school. I don't want to have to get it renewed. I need something different. You said you want something different. So how, So I, I was about to say, why Why you give up the medical field? Because there's money in medical field, too. There's money in medical field, but not like you think it is. Oh, okay. This, and this is the thing. You can have money in any field desire to be in but if your energy is low when you go to work every day what are you doing it for like it wasn't fulfilling me at all okay okay i would wake up and be like oh i gotta go to work oh i gotta go to work <laughs> okay. no. all right so key J, I see uh as you mentioned the fact that you said you had a uh, you had your daughter so you are so you are a trucking mom is your uh, is your daughter oh, with yes. is your daughter with you? Yes, she's been on a trip with me for two months now. So how's uh how how's being uh how's being a trucker and uh and navigating motherhood at the same time? Uh, I want to say it's the same as if we were not in a truck. You know, she's still doing her schooling. I'm homeschooling her, and she can get off the truck. Um. It's the same, you know. I still have a life outside of the truck, besides her sport activities. It's the same to me. It's nothing different. I just have an extra, not an extra person. I just have my baby with me. How old is she? You if know, I, I might ask, a little. She's six. She's she six. Oh, okay. And you and you just mentioned you. I, I was about to ask you. How is she going to school while she's on the truck with you? But you just mentioned that oh. you homeschool in her. Oh yes, she's homeschooling. I do. I make sure I have her activity books out laid out for her, and everything is set in stone. She's set up in the front. She see her books. She do her math, and then she do her paperwork. I have out for her. So, yeah. so how how so how yeah. is how, how did that work? Did you have to like? go online and 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 mm-hmm. do some paperwork a, or something a, like that this does to no. start the homeschooling in a state of, no in a state of texas you can you have the right to take your child out of school or children out of school and homeschool them you don't have to have any documentation stating that this is the level that they're on and this is the level that they're going to be on when they get back in school so that's how it is here in texas where I'm from. All I had to do was find a location where they had homeschool packets where mm-hmm. the teachers go and get the homeschool packages for the kids for their lessons for the day. I did the same thing. I made sure I get got everything that she learned in school as a kindergarten. And I implied with her daily routine. Okay, okay. And she's still on level. <laughs> she's still okay. right at 
right, right where she left off. So, so what what grade level is she? Well, she's what six. So, what grade level she yes. is right now? She's in kindergarten, and she will be in first grade. First grade. Year. Oh, okay, okay. So you, so you yeah. just have to go and just. Uh, how how do you how do you pick up the additional package all online now, or do you have to go back, go back to no, Texas and I went get? To the store. Oh, I went to the stores with the teachers go to, and get like the teachers actually go to stores like that to get um, activity books for the kids. Oh, okay. So I went to the actual stores that the teachers go to, home school moms go to, and I sat there and I talked to the lady that owns the store and. She like these are good lessons and these what they do in school. These are the packets that they have in school and I was like, this that's what I need. Okay. So how's uh how yeah. are are now 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 I don't want to get too personal, but uh the, <laughs> the relationship between you and the baby's father is still tight? I mean, is he still in the picture? How how did that work for him being that uh your daughter is with you on the truck? Uh, I don't know if you heard me before, but he is in prison. Oh, oh no, I didn't hear that. Oh, sorry to hear that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. I I did okay. not hear that. My fault. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. uh, is he coming out soon or? <laughs> <laughs> no, he got sixty years. So oh, all mommy. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. I'm sure he's still in contact with his daughter, though, right? Oh yeah, he calls her all the time. They see each other, so it's nothing new. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So, all right. So the company. <laughs> let's bounce back to the company that you're with, right quick. So the company oh, don't okay. have the company don't have no problem with you having your daughter with you on the truck. No, that's why I love this company. She can stay on the truck with me until she's 19. Uh, I'm not going to have her on the truck until she's 19. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. They have a, yeah, they are family oriented, so. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, yeah. KJ, so check it out. Check it out. I have this little segment called uh, This or That. I have some, I have some <laughs> questions for you. Uh, quick questions for you. You ready? Oh yeah. All right, all right. So we're gonna start this off with. Hold on, right quick. Do I got it? Hold on, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. Oops, wrong one. Let me see. Hold on, I gotta open up. Let me see. Let me see this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Huh. There we go. Right there. All right. Breakfast or no breakfast? Breakfast? Like morning breakfast food? Yes, sir. Breakfast or no breakfast? Oh. I cut down on my breakfast. I normally eat fruits and yogurt, water in the morning. Do the truck in. I can't ride on a full stomach. All right. So, breakfast. In the morning, then depending on depending on what it is that you make, so you do do breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right, Taco Bell or McDonald's? Neither. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I said that with the quickness, no sir. You said neither, <laughs> huh? Game of Thrones or yeah. Sopranos? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Mar oh man. You so you you not liking <laughs> Superman or Batman or anything like that? I do, but the Marvels go a little harder. Oh, uh, you said Marvel go a little <laughs> A little more harder. action. Coke or Pepsi? Either. I don't drink soda. Yeah, I, 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 I don't I don't mess with I don't mess with soda either, but this is another question for you. What do you guys say? Pop or soda? Soda. You say soda? <laughs> Cash or card? Yeah. Card. Ice cream cone or <laughs> waffle? Ooh, I like the waffle cone. You like the waffle cone? How about ice cream scoop or shake? 
Scoop. Scoop. <laughs> all right, all right. Mary J. Blige or Faith? Uh, neither. What? Wait, hold up. Wait, hold, <laughs> hold up, man. Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Foul on the foul on the on the play. Flag on the play. You said neither. Okay, well, Mary J is like, I mean, considered to be no, old school. No, 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 no. I'm like Tina Turner type of old school. Nina Simone type of old school. Patty LaBelle type of old school. Come on now. That, that relates to my soul. I'm sorry. Come on now. Um, Mary, come on now. You you got at least like. Give me two more. Just give me two more. Two more old school. Just give me like old school. Old school. Aretha Franklin so, or Diana Ross? Aretha Franklin, honey. Aretha. Oh, okay, okay. Prince or Michael Jackson? Uh, Michael. Michael Jackson? Yes. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hulu or Netflix? Amazon Prime. Am- <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I, you know, I, I just got a, uh, I just got Disney Plus, so I'm, I'm rocking out, I'm yeah. rocking out with Disney Plus right now, which is, which is, which is, which is fucking awesome. All right, all right. So uh, no, no, neither on Faith or 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 Mary J. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of stumped on that one, man. Wow. All right, so let me ask you this. So, which hurdles did you personally face, and how did you overcome them? Uh, be more specific. Like, you know, getting into trucking. What I mean, you know, that that type of that type of hurdle. Oh, okay. You know how you know um, we we see baby. we see that you're in trucking now, but how did you overcome it to get into trucking? Uh, the only thing that I say it was hard for me was leaving my daughter for amount of amount of time and I overcame it by the divorce. Okay, that's so that was the only thing that I felt like it was a hump that I had to get over. Okay. Now now you already mentioned the fact that you didn't have no influencers of of getting into trucking and you say you got like, you know, some people in your family. But what yeah. what what was it that really compelled you to become a truck driver? The money and freedom. That bag. <laughs> That's all it's about. That's what draws me. That bag, huh? All right. So many people believe that trucking is a challenge to a point that it becomes overwhelming and too much to handle. Why do you think people believe mm-hmm. that? Uh, some people aren't level-headed. Some people are a little weak. Some people don't have patience, and you have to have patience. Um, some people don't have good support systems. And I'll say that's about it. All right. So before I let you go, I got uh, before I let you go. How how uh, how would our listeners be able to connect with you online? Well, they can follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel at QJ. You can there follow me is. on Instagram or Snapchat. The same as QJ. All right, so I got your I got your YouTube up right now. So I'm checking out uh okay. I'm checking out your checking out your channel right quick, which is pretty good. How long you been a YouTuber? Uh, since I started with Steven. Oh, okay. So you so you came so you came in the game and you decided to Oh yeah. You decided to <laughs> to do YouTube and uh all that good stuff. So you say you on uh yeah. you say you on Instagram up under the same name? Yes, yeah. but Key? it's the underscore between Key and J. There you go. I got you up right now. I just went on here, click follow, so I am clicked on to follow you. Miss Key J. I got you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it, Key J. How, uh, how old are you, Key? 
Uh, a woman never tells her age, but I don't care. Uh, I'm 28. I will be 29 April the 10th. Aries okay. Games. <laughs> okay. Just have to say that. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, KJ, thank you very much for showing up and showing out. I do appreciate it. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Let's give uh let's give KJ hold on right quick. Let me let me see if I can change that right quick. Go back, go back, go back. Let's give KJ a round of applause right there. There we go. So thank you for showing up on here. I really do appreciate it. You um let me see if I got one more for you. I got one more. Which is more important to you, truth or happiness? Happiness. Happiness. That is what's up. That is yeah. what's up. Well, KJ, thanks for stopping by, man. I really do appreciate you coming on and uh, chopping it up with me tonight. You stay safe out thanks there. Thanks for having me. How much time you got left on your uh, on your clock? Uh, hour and nine minutes. Hey, you say you're gonna run that. You say you're gonna run that all the way down, huh? I have no choice in New Jersey. <laughs> That's what's up. But thank you for having me. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it, guys. That was Key J. Yes, give it up for Key J one more time. One more time for Key J. Key J. Key J. That's what's up. If Yay. you, if you guys is interested in coming on to the podcast definitely reach out to your boy at lockout men podcast at gmail.com you can hit me up at 216-600-2090 that's 2090 if you guys didn't know or you can get at me at the instagram and hit me in a dm if you guys want to come on and and share your experience with me and chop it up with me yo my platform is all yours. Just just come in, let me know what you want to talk about, and we'll get at it. We'll do the damn thing. We will do the damn thing, okay? All right, so anything else you guys want to know about, you know, holler at me because, you know, the, you know, I do it all over here. You know, if you a recruiter or something like that and you want to, you know, promote your, promote your company, come on over and do that too. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. That was KJ. KJ, you take it easy, you stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. You too. Everybody else, y'all take it easy, and I'll come back at y'all with another video. Peace. All right. That was pretty good. It was pretty good, if I don't say so myself. Now, I got four hours. <laughs> I got four hours to get up out of here, so we about to get up out of here right now.